In Nairobi, capital of Kenya, Europeans and Africans still walk the streets in fear of the dreaded Mau Mau. For it is that band of fanatics whose bloody deeds have cast a dark shadow across the face of Kenya. A week ago, the people of Kenya read of the death of Chief Nderi, murdered by terrorists. And now, as they watch the funeral of this wise and peaceful chieftain, they wonder where next will the Mau Mau strike. Troops are in the streets of Nairobi. Sir Evelyn Baring, the governor, salutes the men of the Lancashire Fusiliers who have flown in to help clear his colony of the Mau Mau menace, which has struck fear into Kenya's very heart. Nairobi police have been supplemented by hundreds of civilians, many of them women, to help round up the Mau Mau bandits. Radio-controlled cars with armoured vehicles are used to carry out the army's plans for bringing in all suspects. More than three and a half thousand have been arrested already. All have to be carefully checked by police security men, for in such a decisive swoop as this, it is all too easy for the innocent to suffer. The objective of this secret society is to drive all white men out of Kenya. Not only fanatics fill the ranks of the Mau Mau, many have joined from fear. Day after day, hour after hour, lorries bearing police and troops drive away from the capital and head for the country. Along twisting roads, they travel deeper, ever deeper into the heart of the African jungle. For here, many of the Mau Mau are hiding. Overhead, aircraft join in the search. All who carry the mark of the Mau Mau must be hunted out so that peace may come to this troubled colony.